Welcome to the Solstice webinar of the 2025 initiative. It's the second day after the exact time of the solstice. Summer solstice in the northern hemisphere and winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. It's a special occasion for us to be together as we align with the cycle, quarterly cycles of solstices and equinoxes. Tuning in with the journey that our planet follows around the sun. And we will use this special opportunity today to bring our focus to the role of the new group of old servers and in manifesting the hierarchical plan in alignment with the highest system and cosmic plan. And our guest today is Antonella Nobilio, who will continue uh, the series of presentations uh, that Antonella started last year. Uh, Thank you, Antonella, for joining us. Thank you, and hi to everyone. Thank you, Antonella, and um, uh, please, the floor is yours, and um, the microphone is also yours, and I, just in a second, the screen is also will be yours, and as you will be able to share it with us. Is it visible? Yes, it is. We can see it. Yes. Okay, I'm speaking in the name of a, um, a project, we can call it, um, that starts uh, in Italy but is, uh, of course, international. And so it's called the planetary system. And um, we will see what means system and so on later because it's one of the main focus, uh, focus, important focus of, the, of this presentation. Mm. Yes, um, so uh, we start from the solstice, as uh, Alexander anticipated. We know that is one of the four um, discontinuities or impulses that the heart of the planetary logos gives. So it's um, the right time to put a new impulse according to the will of the planetary logos. And um, we know that uh, Yes, summer solstice here is, of course, for the northern hemisphere. Okay, let's start with the signs of the heavens before touching the, the theme of the, of the evening, which is the seven goals of the planetary plan. Because we will see that uh, the purpose, the will, is of course coming from Shambhala, the head center of um, our planet, but is of course um, commensurate and uh, attuned to the signs of the solar system where we live and are. And so we, in the last two solstices, this is the third one, um, we just presented both the heliocentric and geocentric perspective because uh, in our studies um, we have um, support that uh, the heliocentric that puts the sun just in the center is uh, analogous to as if we are already the soul and we are um, distributing the solar energy, the soul energy in our field of influence. So this is the chart of the June solstice uh, of yesterday. 
and also the third quarter uh, of these four um, quarters of each year of the planetary um, breadth. So, uh, in this heavenly chart of the major causes, we can call it the heliocentric, this solstice of Cancer Capricorn 2017 is distinguished by the proximity between Earth at the summit and its master of thought, Saturn, in Sagittarius. They were joined on June 15 and per in Sagittarius and perfectly opposed at the next solstice of December. So we will have uh, in six months, the Earth will be in the Valley of Cancer and Saturn will be exactly um, here at uh, zero degree of Capricorn, which is its sign because Saturn rules Capricorn both from an esoteric and uh, ordinary point of view. So, um, this is a very important fact because we know that uh, Earth and Saturn are both third ray and this is creative intelligence, this is planning, this is um, the art of creation, the art of manifesting love through mind and so on. So, <clears throat> translated into thought formulas, we could say that this position of uh, Earth and Saturn at the summit of the heavens, we could say that the elevation toward the planetary consciousness can be accelerated and harmonized by a wise and systematic planning. This is just the Earth, Saturn, Capricorn systematic planning, organized and, and powerful, first, third and seventh ray transmitted by Capricorn. So this is a feast for the third ray and for the idea of plan. That's why we are also um, dedicating these uh, presentations to, to the plan. We know that the plan is um, um, the manifestation of the purpose and there is an indication on the, in the fifth volume of decay that says that following the plan the purpose will be revealed. So this idea of the plan is very um, of a paramount importance for us, for the group of world service. So, and let's go on. The entry of Saturn in Capricorn, which will be on December 15th, 2017, heliocentrically, but on December 20th, geocentrically, so just close to the next solstice, as we said, and especially its conjunction with the destroyer Pluto at the beginning of 2020, will mark a decisive step for the initiation of the human group, fixing their previous alignment late 18th century, which saw both the American War of Independence and the French Revolution, so liberty, equality and fraternity. And we had also said that after this um, uh, problematic conjunction between the third ray Saturn and the first ray Pluto, in 2020 will be followed by the first conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius, the first from the uh, fifth, beginning of the 15th century. So it's, uh, uh, as we said in the last two presentations, it's a sign of a, a new rebirth, a new uh, alignment also of the solar cycles with the coming new era of Aquarius. And um, so, uh, going on, the two areas of the creative and planning force of intelligence, so Earth and Saturn, are in front in this solstice event, both forming a beautiful trine, a direction leading to creative abstraction and in synthesis, as the case says. And the culmination is on 22nd of July to Uranus, the seventh ray of order and renewal, 
very powerful in areas. Now it's already visible, this trend. And um, it's very powerful Uranus, we know, in areas because it, it rules areas from hierarchical point of view. And he is in areas from 2011 to uh, 2018. And even more is powerful in this last year because it's uh, just at the end in the last sector of uh, Aries. So Aries transmitting the electric fire and the first and seventh ray in this year will be very um, powerful thanks to the presence of the uh, yellow fund of the mysteries of Uranus. <clears throat> Again, trying to traduce into thought formulas this trine, important trine, between the third ray and the seventh ray. The solar light, Saturn, dynamizes and reveals the goals of the solar plan, Saturn, Sagittarius. And the great initiator, Uranus, uses that energy to irradiate the fire of the new Uranus Aries, that is the principles of a new culture on Earth. Okay, so other signs of the heavens very important is uh, the coming conjunction between our Earth and Pluto. We can see here the Earth that on uh, July 10th will be in conjunction with Pluto which now uh, is in opposition to the warrior Mars. And um, this reforming conjunction has to be monitored. It's, uh, so it's very strong July 2017 at this heliocentric or causal level. But anyway, worth noting is also the right triangle between Jupiter and uh, Libra. Uh, Saturn and Uranus, second, third, and seventh ray. So this triangle indicates, uh, it seems to us, the ascension of the Earth and humanity to the initiatory Capricorn summit, a raising which will not be painless, of course, considering both the level of human responsiveness to heavenly dictates and the current destabilizing presence of the reform of Pluto. So in this summary quarter cycle, Jupiter's uh, passage of sign is also worth noting. Since September 10th, 2017 to October 6, 2018, heliocentrically, Jupiter will teach the lesson of Scorpio. So the global consciousness, thanks to a more dynamic centrality acquired with Jupiter in Libra, is preparing to consolidate a new degree of victory of the victory of evolutionary light. So the inevitable evolutionary resistances have to be faced in order to control and channel them to maximum beauty and synthesis. This is Scorpio. So the solar master, uh, which is Jupiter, teaching to draw the luminous lines of future in Libra, by degrees issues the principle of love in Scorpio, the universal motive, the only winner. So, um, maybe it wasn't very evident, I, I need to show it. If we look at this triangle between Venus in Aquarius, Jupiter in Libra, Mercury in Gemini, and the triangle we mentioned between Saturn, Uranus, and so on, it's uh, almost a complete star of life, the seal or the order, we can call it. The symbol with its six points 
and triangular psychogeometry or the perfect harmony between spirit and matter ideas and forms. So the only point lacking is here in Leo. We, we think with a, a dear friend that it could be a hint to the next uh, um, Leo sign where we will have a, a powerful eclipses. So, well, let's remember this seal of the order because it will be part of the, of the main theme. So let's compare quickly, quickly the um, yesterday solstice with the June solstice of 2000, 2025. Um, of course, the Earth will be in the same position. Saturn that uh, now is in Sagittarius will be at the zero degree of Aries conjunct to Neptune, third ray and sixth ray. We will have Jupiter joining to Sirius as in the last two, 2013 because it's, it's, uh, his cycle is 12 years instead of Saturn is 29, 30 years. And uh, <clears throat> we will have also the conjunction of Uranus to Alcione, which is um, uh, the case says, and also Blavatsky, is the center where the seven solar system rotate around. So we will have uh, a great signs uh, in 2025. Um, we said already that the main uh, signs will be this conjunction of Saturn with Pluto in Capricorn 2020. 20. Then we will have the conjunction here in Aquarius between Jupiter and Saturn. And then we will have this 2025 where the stars, the main stars, Sirius, Alcione, um, will be aligned with the solar centers, which are the luminaries, the sacred luminaries. Okay, let's uh, see also here mention Orion and Sirius. Here is uh, quickly the geocentric heaven of the June solstice and uh, it's um, totally a different psychogeometry, a geometry, uh, but um, also this configuration gives the idea of a, of a varied cooperation and also reach uh, between the forces, the solar forces. So it's an irregular star-shaped polygon, but it's, uh, it's uh, yes, as I said, the symbol of a rich and varied energy complex, a collective and coordinated action between the centers of uh, the solar organism. So these reinforces and supports the organizing creativity of cancer, which transmits the third and seventh rays. Cancer is uh, those generative waters which from the depths urge mass movements and consciousness, mass consciousness, to integrate into a voluntary collective individuality. This higher unit or unity will protect the enlightened planetary house and will be based on that human group consciousness or right systemic relationships that will be the glory of the Aquarius age, a planetary order. Okay, let's just remember also that uh, in these decades, and this happens um, each 30,000 years, the solstices coincide, converge to the direction of to the galactic center. So we can visualize um, Orion, <laughs> the celestial Osiris, and uh, his consort, Sirius, 
the celestial Isis. So we can visualize the, this cosmic, this cosmic archer, the energy of Orion, which transmits resurrection and uh, Sirius transmits freedom uh, through Manas. And uh, we can so see that the arrow thrown by this cosmic archer through the alignment of Sun Earth to the galactic center is something that uh, is cosmically um, significant. So it means that uh, each 6,000 years, one of the four corners of, the, um, of this greater cycle, or the processional cycle, um, knows a sort of equinox and solstice and uh, uh, the fact that uh, now the solstice is aligned with this galactic center is something that uh, tells us that is really an initiatory moment for humanity and planetary earth for the soul of the planet which is identified with the processional cycle. Okay, now I go on um, with this, uh, all these things, but um, people can interrupt uh, uh, whenever you want and uh, just uh, raising the, the hand and uh, I can interrupt whenever. And, uh, okay, so this we have already said. So close to the current June solstices, through the view in the alignment of our Sun Vulcan, the Soul, and Earth personality, the Archer of Orion, the figure of the great cosmic Christ, or heavenly Osiris, throws the arrow of unity and resurrection from Betelgeuse, Orion, Monad, to the galactic heart, the center of centers. Thus, this primary cosmic universal way is activated on Earth, particularly in these decades due to its convergence with the Capricorn Cancer axis of the solstices. Okay, as we said for this main um, sign of Earth, Saturn, Capricorn, this huge presence of third ray uh, on this solstice. We have uh, summarized and or formulated this sign saying that the elevation toward the planetary consciousness can be accelerated and harmonized by a wise and systematic planning. And uh, here is a quote from uh, a treatise on cosmic fire which is um, very important and beautiful. The immediate objective of the human kingdom is consciously to establish systemic relations and be actively and consciously part of group work. So let us um, go deeper in the world of system and systemic. System is from late Latin systema, an arrangement system, meaning set of correlated principles, facets, ideas. The word derives from Greek systema, organized all body, from seeing together, plus the root of histonai, cause to stand, from Proto-Indo-European root sta, expressing the idea of standing firm. So we give this etymosophy, that is the wisdom of the etymons, saying that um, uh, system be, uh, means study composition of elements. So as the case says, the immediate objective of the human kingdom is consciously to establish systemic relations and be actively and consciously part of group work. So, it's systemic relations. 
the intent of this source, this is presentation, supported by the intensity and verticality of the current cosmic source energies, is thus to focus on the hierarchical principle. In order to establish, first on causal level and through the group of world service, the prototype of a hierarchical humanity, a human system of systems, that is, a planetary order. So let's uh, um, fix this first on causal level because the prototype, uh, the causal uh, formulas are on the higher manas and we are just our causal bodies and the lotuses are and where the egoic groups are in also relationship. So This is a wonderful quote again from Decay, from the reappearance of the Christ. 20th century ago, the presence of the Christic spirit impressed the necessity for human cooperation to the implementation of the divine plan. Something new yet planned for from the very depth of time happened. In that quiet garden of Gethsemane, Christ, representing mankind, anchored or established the Father's will on earth and made it possible for intelligent humanity to carry it out. To carry it out. I heard that will had been known in the Father's house. It had been recognized and adapted to world need by the spiritual hierarchy working under the Christ and thus took shape as the divine plan. Today, because of what Christ did in his moment of crisis hundreds of years ago, humanity can add its effort to the working out of that plan. The will to good of the Father's house can become the goodwill of the kingdom of God and be transformed into right human relations by intelligent humanity. Thus, the direct line or thread of God's will reaches now from the highest place to the lowest point and can in due time become a cable of ascension for the sons of men and of descent, of descent for the loving, living spirit of God. So we are here. We are here to just to deal with the systemic, the need of these systemic relations, group relations, egoic relations, and we are here to go deeper in uh, what is a plan. Here are some uh, quotes uh, from telepathy and the etheric vehicle, which are very um, astonishing. The plan constitutes or is composed of the substance in which the members of the hierarchy consistently work. The plan is substance. It's essentially substantial energy. And energy is substance and nothing else. The substance, which is the plan, is dynamic in nature and is therefore impregnated with the energy of will. The plan constitutes a reservoir of energized substance held in solution by the will of Sanat Kumara and embodying his intangible purpose. Intangible to us, but not intangible to him. It's this planetary substance upon which the impressing agents must draw. The Nirmanakayas, the members of the hierarchy, and the working disciples of the world, plus all spiritual sensitives of a certain degree. Recipients of the desired impression must become sensitive to this substantial energy. So this identification between the plan and this substantial energy or 
uh, energetic substance is um, very revealing. And uh, we know that uh, the master at the sixth initiation becomes uh, themselves this energy um, in action, in uh, transmission. They are not there to transmit, they are that principle incarnated or embodied. So let's go on. And here are some quotes from uh, Enzo Savoini, um, a great disciple we had uh, we have in Italy, um, even if he passed in 2004, but he is the, um, the one that uh, considered the basis of the systemic relations and also the first formulation of the, of the planetary plan. Uh, just following what we read, that uh, it's fine that uh, the intelligent humanity of the group of new world servers um, takes responsibility for the plan and actively tries to comprehend and envision um, the structure and uh, the, the energies of this um, object. Uh, of this being, which is this plan, this substantial energy and an energetic substance. So let's read these quotes from uh, Enzio. Um, yeah, this is an introduction. What are its constituent energies? A plan from a special point of view is the field of interaction between the three main energies and development of their correlation. To build a plan requires the combined use of three energies, love, light and will. And the term plan is to be understood both in the geometric sense and as a project. Love or magnetism and light are living energies widespread in all regions of space. It's reasonable to deduce that the field of interaction results that is a plane or a multiplicity of planes. Love and light interacting produce a psychic and geometric plane on which the will traces focused figures. Plan and project are equivalent terms. A plan would have no sense without a purpose. And any will to be fulfilled needs a plan. Thus, the plane is a psychogeometric object produced by two energies, love and light, and which, driven by a third one, will, is the bearer of a project. It's possible to set up a living inner plan combining together love and light, but it's very rarely done with purpose. Love and light are the energies necessary to build the cosmos and every other entity directed by the will that sets the purpose. Again from Enzio, such a sequence of affirmations is certainly unusual for this age, which completely ignores the life of living geometry of living space, but is proven beyond any doubt and in the most direct way by the presence in the solar system of the ecliptic plane, the cosmic and living demonstration of what is said. On that plane, built with love and light by the solar thinker, the fates of the worlds and their communities are traced and executed according to the project. It's understood by this way that the ecliptic is fundamental to the life purpose and economy of the system. It follows that each star, if it holds and directs a spatial system and an evolving community, must have an ecliptic as the base of its cosmic creative magic. So that's why we read the heavens, because there the solar plan is written. We human beings are the only kingdom that needs to read these signs because natural lower kingdoms already uh, from a 
group um, soul point of view already do, um, but the men not. So the ecliptic. For ecliptic is not um, intended only the orbital plane of the Earth, but uh, the common ecliptic, because apart from Pluto, uh, all the planets of the sacred luminary, luminaries are um, on the same plane revolving around the Sun. Only Mercury is seven degree of um, difference, but we can consider uh, this plane as uh, solar and not planetary. So this is a synthesis of Lorenzo. Um, uh, a plan designed for the common good is built using two fundamental energies, love and light. This object can be of a cosmic, planetary or human nature. When such energies are added to a third purpose, the plan is orientated and is a project. The living object thus prepared is woven with seven energies. The luminaries or rays design on it seven basic psychogeometrical figures with their motion. These operations cause events and forms and qualify the state of consciousness of the solar, planetary or human system. The seven figures, which are sound mathematics, interact by generating a multiplicity of cycles, rhythms and relationships. Uh, by these figures, mm, we, um, we mean for the first ray the point, for the second ray the circle, for the third ray the triangle, for the fourth ray the square or the cross, for the fifth ray the uh, five-point star, and uh, for the sixth ray, uh, the hexagon, the six-point star, and um, for the seventh ray, the complexity the, of, the, of, this, of the other six. So this, yeah, again, yes. Humanity currently ignores these laws and set projects with no respect for the needs both for the planetary and solar plan, whose existence is not even suspected. Men groups arrogantly and raises confusion where everything should proceed in harmony. This behavior doesn't prevent the realization of higher plans, driven by more elevated goals and energies yet falls on mankind as a reign of undesirable effects, difficulties, failures. Although humanity lives on the ecliptic, dragged by its planet, doesn't observe its laws and refuse to consider them obscured by materialism. Human beings don't know how to collate their undertakings with the higher ones, which nevertheless feed their life and pay a high price for their mistake. So that is not our story, of course, of the group on war service. The third question, how can we systemically help the working out of the plan of love and light? We could strengthen our one service to the purpose through the loving and wise activation of the hierarchical principle into our reciprocal, reciprocal soul relationships and creative activities, asserting the fact of the harmonic system of souls, hearts, that is us, the human group of war service. Here is a, a demonstration of what uh, this quote from, again, the Ties of Cosmic Fire is saying, the free by an arrangement of internal groupings show seven groups. These may be represented as ABC, ABCB, BCA, 
PAC, CAB, CBA, and the seventh is synthesis in which the three are equal. So we have put here numbers instead of letters, but it's the same. We know that the, hierarchi the hierarchical um, principle is based on the 1, 3, 7, 49 canon. So the three departments of hierarchy are seven ashrams of the hierarchy. And so this uh, central triad uh, knows six directions, which are just the correlation in, of these of internal groupings. One, three, seven. Here yeah, are quotes that demonstrate um, uh, or support this um, one, three, seven um, focus. The hierarchy works, as you know, in or through three major departments, each possessing its full personnel, and under three great lords. The hierarchy works also through the seven major ashrams and they are affiliated ashrams. And these seven, which are the 49, represent in their totality the seven rays with their sub-rays and are the custodians, transmitters and distributors of the seven ray energies to the seven planetary centers and via these seven centers to those in the fourth kingdom of nature as they gradually unfold over the eons and then via this to these seven centers in individual men, such as the synthesis. So we see these seven, these septenary hierarchical principle, both in the seven luminaries in the seven solar systems and um, at each level, at all levels. So the question was, how can we help systematically the working out of the plan? We can imitate the hierarchical model in every aspect and activity of our group working, thinking, planning and being. We can take the opportunity to be a harmonic unity, a hierarchical humanity, through a common vision and embodiment of the 13749 order and planetary plan. Following the plan, the purpose will be revealed. Thus, we could encompass the goals of the human group of war service in a general planetary plan of goals according to what we can infer from the teachings and referring it to the science of the heavens. Um, a text uh, is going um, to be published, uh, maybe next month, which uh, has extracted all the quotes from uh, all, not some quotes, because there are many, um, from the K that uh, speak of the seven main goals we are going to, to deal. So, um, yeah, in Italy we have been trying to cut the paths in this respect and have issued a systemic formulation of the possible 49 ray goals of the planetary plan, allegedly for the first decanate of Aquarius age ruled by Saturn and its third millennium. And the word decay gives for this ruling Saturn of the first decanate of Aquarius just opportunity. Seven main and 42 lesser goals, all harmonically related to each other in an integrated Pythagorean system. These goals are living beings, energetic substance or substantial energy, and can be embodied as if, as best as we can, by an order of souls organized in a harmonic system and plan, the causal prototype of the future hierarchical humanity. So this is a, um, a work of, on abstract idealism, if we want to see it uh, like that, which is the ray of Italy, six ray um, soul. Um, but uh, the fact that uh, 
Also in Italy, there were mysteries of the third ray, and uh, the case says that uh, the third initiation will be taken in a, in an advanced schools, um, esoteric school uh, in Italy and preparatory in France. Um, maybe um, nourished this uh, focus we are giving to the um, illumination, uh, comprehension, um, to translate into wisdom this um, plan. And so this third ray and this work on causal level uh, to be the prototype of the future hierarchical humanity um, can be seen as a, um, a mission or um, um, an answer um, to the call that uh, the that hierarchy um, uh, keeps to humanity. So the new group of war service um, can uh, participate and um, recognize this um, hierarchical um, principle applied in this systemic way as a, an acceleration way to, yes, to accelerate this working out of the plan. Okay, so we have uh, arrived here. In this first formulation of the planetary plan, the seven main centers of the planetary plan are first ray, restoration of the mysteries, second ray, return of the Christ, third ray, group initiation, fourth ray, imitation of the hierarchy, fifth, new culture, new civilization, sixth, new world religion, Six, seventh, order restoration of the plan on earth. Okay, let's um, just uh, give a quick um, synthesis of the seven, which, as uh, as it's clear, uh, the three, the first three, <laughs> needs the presence of the of hierarchy of the executors of the plan, as one part of hierarchy is called. The other part is named Manakaya, which are uh, um, involved with the reception of the purpose from Shambhala. So, restoration of the mysteries, return of the Christ, group initiation is the work, uh, direct work of Shambhala and uh, hierarchy. But from the fourth down, um, we can see that humanity is um, in this, um, is necessary. Fourth, imitation of the hierarchy. Humanity has to imitate his model and heart. Fifth, new culture, new civilization, new world religion. I'm sorry. Okay. Seventh, order restoration of the plan on Earth. Okay, one one. The restoration of the mysteries, certainly connected to the planetary purpose, is the expression of power energy on Earth, of will and government. This energy is emanated by the planetary head center, Shambhala. It's the occult power of the initiatory mysteries guarded by the real government, which constitutes the driving force for the directive and organized will that can activate the purpose on Earth. Activate the purpose on Earth. 2-2. Two, two. The return of Christ is the central magnet of the planetary field of service. The Christ Bodhisattva is at the head 
of both the center of the planetary heart, hierarchy, and head, Shambhala. The magnet of the Christic principle, Buddhi, lies at the core of every form and living being. In a quote uh, from Tetais of Cosmic Fire, we read, Buddhi is found at the heart of the tiniest atom, or what we call in this system, electric fire. For the positive central life of every form is but an expression of cosmic buddhi and the downpouring of a love which has its source in the heart of the solar logos. This is itself an emanating principle from the one above our logos, he of whom not may be said. So the magnet or the Christic principle buddhi lies at the core of every form and living being from the center as a heart site of life and sun of its system, it educates and orientates its own field of influence. The heart of humanity works for the awakening of Christ, of group consciousness, of love, as the only universal motive. So while we go through this synthesis of the seven goals of the planetary plan, we could already, each of us, um, try to, um, not try, but just uh, um, resonate, uh, observe to which one of the seven we resonate more, just to um, maybe uh, for with the people that um, will be uh, called by this um, systemic um, hypothesis, to work already from tomorrow as uh, one of these seven centers of the planetary plan. So the first ray, restoration of the mystery, the second ray, return or reappearance of the Christ, the third, third ray. Group initiation is the new method of the planetary evolution plan to awaken humanity, the planetary fourth center. In the Earth's evolutionary scheme, as in just two other planetary schemes, an experiment to accelerate the common advancement is underway. To carry out the plan for humanity is realized through group initiation, i.e. through the conscious coordinated cooperation towards the common purpose. Humanity, the center of creative intelligence, will be structured as a group of groups, a unitary system, and hierarchical order to illuminate and administer the planet harmoniously. Yes, I know also that um, here um, between us there are some people that uh, are experimenting this um, systemic uh, organization and uh, inner um, unity. Um, since many years. So after my long presentation, um, uh, they are invited to express their experience and um, yes, just to, to be a choral, uh, a choral voice. Okay, let's finish this uh, goals. The fourth, imitation of the hierarchy is to respond and conform to the higher model. The hierarchy is the central reference for all the creatures of the planet. Humanity must imitate it and gradually identify with the hierarchical principle. The canon 137 of the hierarchical and universal life is the way to be and become in the image and likeness of the divine in united breath and unified rhythm with the heart of infinity. Five, the new culture and civilization manifest the hierarchical plan on Earth. A project is realized through a construction work, first on mental level, then on the lower levels down to the physical appearance. The plan foresees that humanity develops planetary consciousness for the launch, launch of the new Aquarian culture. 
based on golden relationships between the natural kingdoms and in proportion between earth and heaven. The seven sectors or primary directions of the new human culture and civilization will manifest the universal law of the seven rays. Six, six. The new world religion <coughs> unifies the planetary society, enhancing its common ideals and values. What makes the planetary, planetary community converge and gather are the natural, natural basis common to every being, all that is better, beautiful, good and true, that is reality, heaven, and its eternal truths. True world religion, the science of the one soul, is the science of space that leads to unity through diversity, toward a unitary synthesis. 7-7. Seven, seven. The order, restoration of the plan, irradiates the hierarchical plan and order on Earth. Their systemic structure and solar cosmic rules. It's necessary to identify or embody ever better the hierarchical order in action, both subject, subjective and objective, individual and collective, at the international level and in relation to the other kingdoms, so that the one humanity, the planetary consciousness, can emerge and work out the plan of love and light on Earth. It's necessary to unify spirit and matter, energy and substance, so that the saving force is pressing the creative or triangular relationship between Shambhala hierarchy and humanity, the head, heart, frog, planetary centers, can liberate the prisoners of the planet. Let light, love and power restore the planet on Earth. So I stop here and leave uh, the voice to other co-workers or to possible questions. And this is the um, table or the plan we already presented in the last presentations. You, you can see that the seven main goals are put in the central axis as the seven vital centers of this idea, of this formulation. The 42 lesser goals are presented in a text called the Distant Goals and um, you can find it on the TPS website in the page of the documents uh, in the first sector dedicated to the plant. So, please, uh, if someone has a has again some uh, <laughs> will to. Thank you, Antonella, for the presentation. And uh, uh, absolutely, it would be wonderful if people who've been working with the system uh, would like to share the experience of embodying um, these qualities. So um, you can just raise your hand, and uh, I will unmute you. Um, I think that would definitely enhance our understanding uh, of this method and project. So I see uh, Marina. I will unmute Marina. Uh, hello, I am Marina. And um, what I would like to do is witness the, the usefulness of this method. Uh, which um, um, seen uh, from the, the perspective of, the, of a theoretical method looks uh, uh, like a little complicated and perhaps uh, very theoric, but, uh, uh, but actually it has uh, a lot of potentialities uh, in its expression. Um, I believe that each group uh, can apply it uh, in uh, also in, di in slightly different ways, always be remaining reliable to the to the general uh, base uh, of this theory, uh, which is very practical actually. 
uh, and yet um, adapting to the characteristic uh, of the group itself. For example, in our community, in the community of living ethics, uh, we have been using this method for almost 30 years now. And uh, we have to say that according with our experience, it has represented the, the, like the soul of the group, the group soul, uh, from which all the form have then manifest uh, into matter. And, and it is a constant uh, um, model of reference. Uh, and each activity inside the field of the community um, is consciously connected with uh, the, the seven uh, main goals uh, plus uh, the 49 uh, different functions uh, of the table of the plan. And this is uh, a very good way, mm, according with our experience, to, to uh, keep together, to hold together the level of uh, energies and the level of forms. So, so that uh, every form is really just a reflection of one of the goals, one of the, of the functions of this uh, plan. Also, what we find very important is that uh, it allows us to work uh, um, in an attitude which is uh, imitation of hierarchy, because knowing that this is the way um, through which hierarchy works, uh, Santonella said the seven ashram and the, the functions or different functions of these ashrams, uh, allows us to have a point of reference uh, which is not just uh, uh, allows us not just to 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 work from a human perspective, but always trying, doing our best to imitate the same attitude and way that the hierarchy uses, thus uh, um, uh, making much faster and much simpler and much much more harmonious to. Uh, to fulfill, to fulfill, uh, and to to realize forms, to to make them visible, to manifest forms. So therefore, we, yes, our experience is absolutely positive. And I would also add that uh, this kind of model is a kind of mystery in itself, and it reveals itself step by step. This is what we have experienced. In the beginning, we didn't understand. Uh, much about it, just essential uh, points, but then going on we enter more and more and I would say each year we, we enter deeper in this mystery, revealing it um, to, the, to our group consciousness. There is a, a new part, new aspect that can be revealed uh, step by step and this is very creative for the group consciousness. So that's all. And thank you, Antonella. You explained it very well and in a, with simple words and very clear and good. It was a, a good, uh, like uh, also for us who know it, it was a good way to, to go through it and uh, remind, remind, uh, reminding the, the, the several aspects. Thanks to us. Thanks to you, Marina. Uh, yes, um, with Community of Living Ethics um, and the Eurosvat Institute, uh, which is based mainly in, um, in Turin, um, we are uh, also experimenting this prototype of uh, planetary order, and we meet um, um, till now once once per year and just uh, celebrate this, and we. Uh, experiment in seven ashrams, the work of the seven rays. So in their beautiful hall of um, culture, we we do this meeting for the planetary order. So I um, there there are more uh, hands, uh, Antonella. So I will unmute yet. Uh, or you yeah. wanted to add something? No, no, no. I just show this. Um, um, stars or stars because the lambdoma uh, which is the the square with the 49 goals is only one way to represent the this matrix but the other one to represent 49 is this wonderful flower of life where the function is of a system 
uh, choose a position and work in septenaries, in seven ashrams, uh, as a hierarchy, as oh, if, yeah. as Marina said. Yes. Okay, so I'll unmute it yet. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yet. Ciao. Right. Um, <laughs> Now, <laughs> I've only been working for a few years um, within this system, the Lamdoma, uh, but I've been working from or at a vertex that is one, two. So yes. the overall goal would be return of the Christ. Um, it, it's humanity is meant to become a real heart center in which the Christ can return. Um, specifically, I've been working at one two, which you can see is common good and study of divine space. Um, put very shortly and bluntly, it's synthesis of head and heart. So the vertex or the function I've been working from has been uh, synthesis of head and heart um, to to. Uh, to, to be expressed through every interval or every of the small goals in the system. So, uh, for instance, 5-3, um, showing the principles of the new culture. I've been trying to integrate head and heart synthesis to the principles that are going to be shown for the new culture. Um, that's really all I would like to say, unless there's no questions. Yes. Thank you, Jette. You are went to in Denmark. Then there are the people in Sweden, uh, in Australia, and so on. Uh, and uh, yes, Jette mentioned the 5-3 because this 49 matrix is also applied to um, a cyclic planning. So this uh, first cycle of 49 years began in 1987. And so now, in 2017, we are living the third year of the fifth septennium. And this also is um, uh, a unity through diversity. Each vertex, each year can uh, un live and embody and try to express from its perspective, his or her perspective, um, this goal of the planetary plan. So this year is dedicated to the sowing of the principle of the new culture, which is um, just the subtitle of the TPS project online. In fact, TPS project uh, was born in the year 4-5, creation of the models of social life, when the number five was uh, appearing in the fourth septennium. So now, um, and it appeared at December 2012. So now we are leaving this 5-3. Yes, are there any other? Um, Antonella, uh, now we are uh, getting uh, closer to the ending of the webinar, so there are other raised hands, so it's up to you, either we uh, go into meditation now or maybe we hear uh, uh, other people sharing, so it's... Um... No, no, let's uh, share with people, the meditation is very short. Okay, okay, so then uh, the, uh, I will unmute Elisabetta now. Good evening to everyone. This is Elisabetta from the Community of Living Ethics as well. Um, yes, what I would like to share is that, uh, as Marina was already saying, we are using this uh, system uh, since uh, so many years ago in the community. And uh, what I found uh, very precious is this uh, possibility to attune the one consciousness and one's life to this higher order imitating the hierarchy to a conscious work of resonance also to the planets of reference for each axis and uh, bringing, you know, trying to bring this energy into manifestation in our everyday life. 
And uh, another aspect which I think is very important that is that uh, through this work, we really shift our identification on our function within the order, which means that um, <clears throat> besides the seven main goals, we have 49 functions which are all indispensable for the plan to manif be manifested. And this allows everyone to become consciously um, responsible for the embodiment of the ray energies that is attuning through the function. And we have words of affirmations, words of power, and meditations which really enrich and make this work uh, a living experience in daily life. And uh, I also would like to bring the greetings of uh, the Jerusalem star of which I am part of too. I spoke with Uta and the other friends uh, today and uh, we have already shared there's a star in Jerusalem that we are working using the star work and uh, so <laughs> tonight I want to bring the love and the light of the Jerusalem group as well. And thank you, Antonella, for this presentation. And it's a really a great joy to be all together united in this uh, planetary group endeavor. Yeah, what Elisabetta, um, a star is a uh, of seven functions, a system is a, a, a seven stars or seven stars functions. Also in Sweden, maybe there is um, mainly uh, has raised the hand. Yes, do you hear me? Yes, Hi okay. to everybody, uh, both old friends and new ones. Uh, we have been working with this system for now 10 years and uh, since we got across it, we uh, really find that the different functions when you are open to get into one of these positions uh, to serve uh, humanity, you find that, that these um, energies which the functions are um, kind of um, channeling into you starts to take over so you really become you start to talk in another way you start to live in another way which is um, really so amazing to see now when new people are coming into the swedish group that we can see that these energies are really living within us so we are so thankful to be a part in this work and also to uh, connect with all the other around the world that are doing the same. Uh, so thank you Antonella for all the work that we are doing together yeah. and the presentation that you made tonight. Thank you Soul Sister. <laughs> um, yeah. there, uh, there were several comments and questions. Uh, yeah. I will just try to summarize in a simple question is that where to find uh, information to follow yeah. on this and um, I just will say that this re webinar has been recorded and will be posted on the 2025initiative.org in a couple of days so you will be able to watch it again and please uh, Antonella share information how people get in touch with your group and to yes. learn more was, about this project. I was trying to find a, a, the here it is. Yes, the page of the planetary system. You can go uh, to this end of the planetary system, but then uh, it's the last uh, slide uh, we show the, the link, but it's the planetary system.org or end dot the planetary system. You will see that there is this contact uh, to send us an email and we can organize um, um, another webinar or we can send some documents we can share what we need what uh, is uh, desired 
and uh, so right to the contact page. And uh, you will find in the planetary system, for example, this article, which is one of the last uh, is just issued on the 15th of June with the conjunction Saturn, uh, Earth and Sun, where the distant goals are presented. Yeah. So just going, on, going uh, further, um, to give uh, an example of uh, application, um, there is uh, an attempt to formulate the action of the 49 vortexes or functions oriented to help the 2025 um, to, uh, to explode uh, its power. So um, we uh, just um, built these uh, formulas, 49 formulas with seven main ones to assert the plan of love and light. So um, what is necessary probably now is also this intervention, direct intervention of the new group of war service, or at least of a part of them, which uh, takes care of this um, magnet, central magnet, uh, or center human presence, if you like, um, where this planet, the planetary holder, the, this prototype, can assert the plan of love and light. And these are the seven formulas of the seven ashrams of this um, prototype. And if you read it, uh, they are very <laughs> high. Uh, you can't say as an individual. You can't say as a personality group. You can say if you are a prototype of a hierarchical humanity. So each day, each of us uh, shows one of the seven of these main ones, and and the sub formula of its own vortex. So, for example, if one chooses like yet the, the one two is I am the central human presence. I am the power of love. So they are seen formulas that, uh, as the case says, formulas are the third ray aspect um, associated to mantras and uh, power uh, words that um, liberates the energy, the substantial energy, the deva, if you like, and uh, helps the heart to, to show through this ray or uh, direction the, the intention of the will and just um, orientate the, the plane toward the 2025. So this is already a very practical um, possibility to work. If people will be interested, we can send all these uh, formulas and uh, explain better and deeper uh, what they are. Thank you, Antonella, a lot. And this, I think it's there is significance that you share in this presentation at this time of solstice as we go from the high interlude of the year into the distributing six month period so it's thank you and if you could lead us into meditation yes i just show the the seven because in the video will be visible yeah <clears throat> let us center in our heart and unite with the heart in Yes, let us center in our heart and unite with the heart in the head, the Christic centers in our individual system.
we are one with the heart of all humanity, the group consciousness of the fourth human hierarchy. We are one with the heart of the planet, the planetary hierarchy. We are one with the heart of Shambhala, the Christ Maitreya. We are one with the heart of the solar system, the heart of the sun, focused by Sun Vulcan, first ray of a second ray solar system. We are one with the hearts of our local universe, Sirius and Orion, which emanate force of freedom and resurrection through a plane and plan of cosmic light and love. We are one with the heart of our galaxy, one of the infinite universal globes of divine manifestation. Lost in this light supernal, on that light we turn our back. We build a lighted house and therein dwell. The planetary order asserts the plan of light and light. From the point of light, Within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of man, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of man, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Mm
Thank you, Antonella. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we invite uh, everyone to join our coming New Moon uh, webinar, continuing the cycl cyclical project of uh, working with strengthening the thought forms of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And the next webinar would be on June 25th and we will focus on goal eight, decent work and economic growth. <coughs> and our next uh, full moon webinar will be on July 8th, uh, the Cancer Solar Festival webinar with Daniel Hersson from Switzerland. And Daniel will bring our collective focus on the building material conditions for the manifestation of the plan. Building the lighted house together. Thank you, everyone. And let's end our work today with the Gayatri. O thou who gives the sustenance to the universe, from whom all things proceed, to whom all things return, Unveil to us the face of the true spiritual sun, hidden by a disk of golden light, that we may know the truth and do our whole duty as we journey to thy sacred feet.